Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Living Simply and Fun, brought to you all the way from, uh, uh, what's the name of this town again? <laughs> I'm going senile. Um, we are in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, you need to take that. I was about to use it. I am going to end up doing a cigar faux pas here, in my opinion. But it's because TSA had to do something. Um, it's horrible. But, anyways. Pre-cut. Thanks to uh, TSA regulations and no razor blades and all that stuff, I did not want to lose a cutter. So I pre-cut my sticks. Nice little blend uh, draw on this. It is a uh, Cinco Vega uh, cast strength. Um, and this is a, um, well, it's a special edition 6x54 tor uh, torpedo. This comes in the Cigar International Backyard Boogie Sampler. Uh, you cannot buy a box of these. They come as box press Toros usually. They have a uh, firkin also. And don't ask me the size of the firkin. I did not pay attention. Uh, let's see Is if I can a get this. Size? This? No, the firkin. No. Never I heard of a firkin. I believe it's a little smaller than a Toro, but don't quote me. Uh, I might look that up by the second half of this video. Um, <clears throat> so. Anyways, this is a Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper. They say that it's reddish. I suppose maybe a little in the light here. Uh, but I don't really see much reddish. It's more of a dark to dark brownish, I think. Maybe some light red hues. Uh, it is a Lajero filled uh, filler uh, from Nicaragua on. and Honduras. So... Hi everyone, I'm just here too. So this is a Lajero beauty then. Yes, I love yes. those little Lajero beauties. Th this is a Lajero long filler. I could not find a binder on this. It is more than likely Nicaraguan. Uh, given that the Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper and the Nicaraguan Lajero, although there is Honduran Lajero in here. Um... This is actually one of my favorite bands from Cinco Vegas. For some reason, I just really like the cast strength. I love the look of the box. You get that, well, it looks like a whiskey barrel. Uh, now, cast strength itself, what does the cast strength mean? Was this aged with scotch? Is there scotch infusion? No. When it comes to cast strength, it basically means the bottom of the barrel, or the purest or strongest form of your sco uh, scotch whiskey. Um, uh, I just want to say he's wrong there. It's well, also in uh, bourbons, which yes, he's got cast Yes, bourbons strength. too. Sorry, it's bourbons and scotches. Uh, there's probably others that have cast strengths too. Very popular for a cigar to have some type of alcohol connotation to it. We all like alcohol now and then with our cigars. Uh, although I'm not a big fan of alcohol. Uh, so, yes, the cast strength is only because it's a full-bodied, full blend with lots of spice. So, they're saying that this is the cast strength equivalent in cigar. So, there is nothing to do with bourbon or scotch or anything other than the term cast strength. That was something I was curious about. I was like, oh, is there scotch in this? Was this aged in an old whiskey barrel that had been rotting in some basement for 500 years, and they dug it out and said, let's stick our cigars in here and let them age for another five years? No, nothing like that. Nothing really cool or fancy. It is just aged, spicy tobaccos that come out full-bodied. So, and as you can see here, Mr. Moppy, our little celebrity dog, is uh, tuckered out old persimmon for all the work he's done today. This has a rather kind of stinky, earthy note to it. I wish I could let you smell this through. Um, 
bit. Gracias. We'll keep it. <laughs> I do want to say something else. Um, I, I just don't want to say it's Earth, though, because it's... And yes, I am breaking the rules for you people out there, including you and Johnny Sticks. I she's just... smoking, even though she's having surgery in two days. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to put a word on this. It's, it smells really good, but... Unfortunately, you're just going to have to get a get one for yourself if you really want to smell this, which it is a beautiful smell. Well, maybe one of the finest smells I've smelled off a wrapper. Doesn't mean it's going to smell good. It certainly smells good. So, time to faux pas. Oh, lighting with a big. <laughs> uh, I can't even toast the foot with this. nice that our hotel room has smoking and we even asked about cigars they said no problem immediately some kind of caramelized onion flavor with chocolate it's actually quite good and that is caramelized onion there's no doubt about that Good load of spice. This is obviously a Lajero, no doubt about that. Uh, if you do not like pepper bombs, do stay away. Um, I know a couple people who don't like pepper bombs. The truth is they don't like Lajero tobaccos. That's the point of it. And a lot of cigars use Lajero. So if you don't like pepper bombs, got a state of the real mild cigars I think and uh, although I like a good mild cigar as long as it's full of flavor so many mild cigars have little to no flavor I think I have to agree with Aaron on that one completely he speaks the truth just like you know we do honest reviews a uh, mild cigar usually is not flavorful heck I've had 20 to 40 dollar cigars that you know, for gifts or purchase but, myself that had no flavor. These things are great. You have the opposite going with these full body. When you have lots of Lajero in it, sometimes all you get is spice. Spice, 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 more spice and spice, which essentially is no flavor, just spice. And well, that could be obnoxious too. As much as air, 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 marshmallow and air is it could be obnoxious uh, just straight spice can be obnoxious too so there's a fine line of what's a good spicy cigar and what's a good mellow cigar and I think some of the best mellow cigars actually have a touch of spice and some of the best spicy cigars use quite a bit of viso to cancel out some of the Lajero but that's uh We'll see how this one goes. I really miss having a torch. And all these reviews that I'm going to do for you down here are going to be coming off this. Unless I can meet unless I can find a cigar shop with a generous soul who wants to donate temporarily a torch lighter that will only be used for a week. Uh, maybe I could borrow one and return it to him beforehand. And I should have asked the doctor if he smokes cigars. <laughs> so this so far is pretty pleasant, but I am getting spice. Even the caramelized onion on the first hit, gone. Spice. Uh, and as a pure spice bomb, might not be very good. So, see you at the halfway point. 
and I'll let you know how this is still going. Oh, and talking about cast strength, McCarthy's Oregon Single Malt Scotch. Yep, it, it's a whiskey distillery. Uh, I've never tried them, though. I don't even know what they make or if their stuff's any good. Um, I found the shirt for a dollar, so um, I, I bought it. Do speak about the cast strength, which you don't call it cast strength, of the uh, Booker Nose, please, since you're talking about cast strength. Uh, and as bourbons go, speaking of cast strength, Rita says, we both tried the Booker Nose. That is essentially a cast strength. That's one of the highest proof bourbons on the market at 127 or 128 proof. And uh, that actually is also very spicy, very harsh. I, I'm not a fan of it, but Rita certainly liked it. Uh, three shots out is completely snocker. That is going to be out of butane before we leave. I'm, I'm certain of this. But... And I thought they had that slogan, 2,000 lights or something like that. Well, we'll see. Do you think it'll make it? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, regardless, I will do probably either A, leave it in the hotel room uh, where a fellow smoker might find it, or like I've done in Detroit and Cleveland before, leave my lighter near the exit terminal. Uh, so that somebody who's just getting off who really is craving that cigarette can use it. So, Still straight spice. And, uh, of course, this is what lighting with a Bic will do for you. Talk about a little bit of wonkiness there. But... I think this will work itself out because this just started. So I will see you at the halfway point. Nope. Welcome back to the halfway point of the Cinco Vegas or Cinco Vega uh, cast strength. This, for the most part, has been a straight spice. Uh, not many changes. Not. No transitions of any sort. Um, kind of a cedary taste with something kind of oily in there. But primarily just spice, spice, and more spice. It's uh, quite, a, uh, quite nice if you like spice. And you're looking for something that's a pure spice bomb. Um, so, at this point, I got nothing further to say. So, I'm going to go and waste some time playing Mahjong. And, yeah, you know, waste some time playing Mahjong. And uh, I will get back to you in the final third of this. So, uh, until then, see you in a second. Hello, and welcome to the final third of this uh uh, Cinco Vega cast strength. Um, mostly everything I'm getting is spice. Lots of nicotine. Um, it's causing me to be a little lightheaded, actually. And kind of just wishing I would uh, end, because it's been a very long cigar, too. And so it, it's been a bit much on me. And it's rare that a cigar conquers me. And this one... It's uh, it's up there. Uh, definitely a nice, tasty smoke. Definitely one I'd recommend after eating dinner. Uh, you have to like Lajero, and you have to like Spice. Because uh, it is pretty much pure Spice. Um, and uh, so, sorry about that. Uh, so... Anyways, uh, and no, no, it, it's wanted to tunnel a couple times. It's very hard to fix with uh, a Bic. Um, Maybe we should get some matches. Well, they won't be a heck of a lot. Better. <coughs> uh, you mean a stick match? And I've had a few little dry issues, but, you know, it, it's part of... Uh, um, 
being on the road and then a hotel and all that. Ooh, never thought about that. Might be able to open up with a pen cap. <laughs> Yo, much better. That worked. <laughs> the things that we can improvise with in a hotel room. So, with that said, uh, I, I only recommend this to those who really like a strong, stout, <laughs> full-bodied spice bomb. Because uh, that's what this is. Plain and simple, not a lot of flavor characteristics other than pure spice. Some cedar notes. So, add and subscribe, leave comments, suggestions, feedbacks. Have you tried these? What did you think? Did you think that I messed it all up? Go ahead and leave the comment. Uh, just try to be nice about it. That's all we ask. So, enjoy every puff. <laughs>